Okay, here's one other piece you're going to need. This is going to be your computer sound interface. This particular thing is an RA35. Um, if you just do a Google search for RA35 USB interface, um, you'll find a website, Masters Communications. Um, they sell these as a kit or they sell them complete and ready to go. So on this particular build, I'm going to use this as my USB interface. These are cheap and easy to build and they're a lot of fun. And you can use them for all kinds of things. So what we're going to basically have is the Raspberry Pi going into this guy, which is your push to talk and audio control to your radio. So we're going to plug that guy in, come out of the Pi, and then we're going to build an interface cable to go from this DB9 into the radio and actually control the radio. Okay, so now that we've got all that done, we're going to start working on our cable. Now what I have here is just some four conductor cable that's shielded. You can see the shield on there. I've stripped the outer jacket off of it. If you're going to use a heat shrink to make it look nice and neat, make sure you put the heat shrink on before you get everything done because once you get the connectors made, uh, yeah, you're not getting it back on there. And what we're going to do is, uh, since I've got shielded cable, I'm going to connect the uh, shielding to the ground wire on the Raspberry Pi side, uh, but not hook the shielding up on the radio side. Uh, what that does, that gives us a drain. Uh, you don't want to hook the shielding up all the way through, then there's no point in having the shielding. So. We're just going to uh, hook that up just to give us a little more protection on our audio, keep hums and things like that out of it. So to get that shield where you can connect it to the other wire, um, I use a little pick like this here. And um, all you do is just go in there and start from the top and work your way down, unbraiding the uh, shielding. It's kind of like combing really bad hair. <laughs> and I'm not going to need it that long, so if it tangles up on the end, I'm not worried about that, just as long as I get it all separated out down through here. Okay, so once you've got it all picked out, it should should have a have it all splayed out like that. And then you can just take it and twist it. And now basically you have another conductor. And we're going to tie that in with our ground wire once we break the wire out and get everything set up. Okay, so we've got our cables all split out here. Now to go in the back of the radio uh, you can go online and order the connector and make the connector up to plug it straight in. What I'm going to do is because I have a whole bunch of these is uh, I have some of the Raspberry Pi prototype kits and the um, Arduino prototype kits. So what I'm going to do, they come with these little breakout cables. They have a pin on one end and then a female on the other end. And what I'm going to do, I can get it over there in front of the camera. Come on, focus for me. There we go. Um, I'm going to use those little guys to plug into the back of the radio. And I pulled off the ones that match the colors on the wires of what I'm using uh, on my cable. So what I'm basically going to do is connect these guys on here to plug in the back of the radio on the pins and then on the opposite end I'm going to use the DB9 and connect make a uh, DB9 connector on here on this end and what that do what that'll do is this DB9 will plug into the RA35 and then these guys will go on the pins on the back of the radio Okay, so I'm going to, I've got a DB9 
This is a hood kit, and then of course this is the DB9 connector itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the hood down right here. Put the connector in it. I'm just going to measure off my wires there. I want to be able to get the back of the hood around the actual uh, jacket on the outside of the wire. So that's going to tell me how long I need to make my wires. So I'm going to measure that into there like that. Let me turn it around so the camera can see it a little better. I'll lay it in there like that. So I know that's about where I want to cut the wires. So cut these guys off. And now we'll get the soldering iron fired up here after a few minutes and we'll get it going. Now Barry sent out a pinout of the radio. It was in that email group. Uh, and I'll show you a picture here. I'll insert it into the video. Uh, the Motorola mic audio is 2, push to talk is 3, receive audio is 11 and ground is seven. Uh, on the RA35, uh, audio out is two. Five is push to talk, six is audio in, and eight is ground. Um, if you look at the DB9, when you buy your DB9s, um, I can get it in focus. You probably won't see it on the video, but they're numbered. So we're going to uh, land them according to their numbers. Of where they need to be and I have to use a magnifier to see them because I'm half blind so we're about right there stick our little clips on there This is a little strain relief that I'm installing here. So it lays right down in there like that. And what that does is keep you from pulling the cable out of the connector. Then I get the other half of the hood. Now to put these together correctly, there are screws that go through here so you can screw it into the vise. I normally don't put those in. They're kind of a pain in the butt to put in with the particular um, brand that I buy. These are really cheap. Uh, I don't bother with them because they, they stay plugged in nice. So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, you see how that goes together and then you take one of the nuts you drop it in there, it's molded for it. Put your screw from the back side and it's all tied together. But what I'm going to do with mine is uh, I, uh, I'm going to do my heat shrink real quick. So I'm going to run the heat shrink up in there and then we'll be done with that. So Steve will appreciate this. Uh, no picture is complete from my shop without the pink heat gun from my wife's craft kit. But hey, it works, so. DB9, ready to go on the RA35. All right, so we got our individuals tied together now. Slide the big guy over the top of all of them. You can buy this heat shrink at uh, Advanced Auto. You can get all different sizes. They have a lot of good stuff, so it's a pretty good source for heat shrink. So 
So there we have it. We've got our uh, interface cable built. This end goes to the radio. And this end goes to the RA35. So when we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and get everything plugged in and uh, we'll start playing.